Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to another song reaction. This is taken from my October submissions on r slash Alex Heights. Head on over here if you'd like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions. Uh, we're just doing one track per person until we get caught up to the present. Uh, so I am down here and I have chosen Pine Pinola, Pineola by Lucinda Williams. Uh, never heard of this artist before. Apparently kind of dabbled uh, maybe a little bit in like some like, I don't know what you would call it. Um, uh, I was going to say primitive, American primitism. I don't think so. Uh, more of like a outlaw country kind of stuff. And then just kind of swung into a more like uh, alt country Americana realm, I suppose. Um, and the track is uh, number six right here. I don't know anything about it. It looks interesting. So that's what we're going to do today. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please do these things as they help out the channel uh, immensely. And I think that's all we got. So let's go. The 44 and the fountain line on his bed. I could not speak a single word, no tears streamed down my face. I just sat there on the living room couch, staring off into space. Mama and daddy went over to the house to see what happened. Took the sheets off of the bed and they went to call someone. Some of us gathered at a friend's house to help each other ease the pain. I just sat alone in a corner chair. I couldn't say much of anything. His friends all stood around Subiaco Cemetery That's where we lay him down I saw his mama She was standing there His sister, she was there too I saw them look at us Standing around the grave And not a soul they knew Born and raised in Pineola his mama believed in the Pentecost. She got the preacher to say some words so his soul would be Violin is nice. Or should I call it the fiddle?
Well, seems like we got a song here, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. Um, not bad. Uh, it, it's interesting listening to, um, like, uh, what would you call it? Like, kind of bluegrassy kind of country. Um, would that be like a, a genre that she is attributed for in any way? I don't know. Uh, like, bluegrass it just kind of has a certain vibe. Like, it, it's different than just Americana or alt country. It's a very, like, uh, southern uh, roots rock kind of thing, maybe. Um, and that doesn't always, like, hit me very hard because it feels super cultural and even, like, kind of localized to a degree. Um, very insular, I suppose. And I just, I don't vibe with it as much. Um, I mean, I live in Western Colorado, right on like, like in the desert, more or less, uh, in a valley, uh, like right next to the border of Utah. And so like, I, I enjoy like a country Americana vibe, um, because like, I'm basically, I'm living in it. Like I, I love the Western vibe. Um, something like this doesn't strike me as much. It was also a really interesting choice for a song as well. Uh, but I thought it was fine. I thought it was fine. I don't have a whole lot to say about it, though, other than, like, it's a, it's a brand of country that I don't listen to very much at all. Maybe the rest of the album doesn't sound like that. I don't know. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Again, if you enjoyed the video, do these things, because stuff, stuff, I'm going. Until next time, Godspeed.